my name is Morten Jenum. I'm the CIO at Mark Information. We are a long-standing ISV with the Progress, uh, using you can say the Open Edge uh, platform to build a solution within the workforce management industry. We serve enterprise customers in the Nordics. We're based out of Denmark, and um, and we serve enterprise customers on uh, on on, uh, on on their workforce management uh, aspects, uh, collecting time, task registrations, to resource scheduling uh, aspects like that. We operate in a couple of different markets in the Nordics and in the UK, and uh, it is actually a little bit different for us uh, compared to the markets. We have customers within the financial sector, which is very much into regulations and compliance and all of that. They come up with on-premise demands still, uh, and we have uh, many new customers uh, coming in the door where it is uh, software as a service only both from a licensing perspective and from an infrastructure and integration perspective. So we will probably for a long time operate in both worlds. We have around 400 customers where we came from an on-premise world where each customer had uh, their own install with uh, all kinds of good configuration flavors. Um, so we started, of course, a journey where we, uh, on one hand, we wanted to take care of the on-premise customers. On the other hand, we also wanted to provide you can say cloud or hosting services uh, along the way. Our application uh, called Promark, there's only one code base across all customers. So for us, it's it's super important that we can, uh, you can say serve up both types of customers still, while still maintaining one customer base. Moving to 11, I think that took us around a quarter uh, or three months uh, to do. We were very cautious about uh, switching the architecture before we actually met, went with the public release. Uh, once we made that uh, jump, uh, then things have gotten uh, quite easier for us. So uh, lately we moved from, I believe it was 12.1 to 12.2. And uh, in the early days of Pathway, there was quite a lot of uh, config file changes and uh, things that needed to be adjusted or handled differently in our installers and all, all that fun stuff. Uh, moving from 12.1 to 12.2, we did it in a month release uh, because now things are, have settled down. So uh, changes to the config file structures and, uh, and redeploying our web services and so on. Are, uh, it's a smaller task for us now. Uh, and, and it's more of a regression test on some specific connection stuff. And then we are, we're pretty much good to go.